split cos 3x into cos 2x plus x and use cos a plus b formula cos a cos b minus sin a sin b cos x is equal to minus 1 by q what is cos in terms of sides cos theta is equal to adjacent side divided by hypotenuse side find all phase of consecutive odd positive integer both of which are smaller than 10 such that their sum is more than 11 this is also an important problem Hello dear students, welcome to this session of first PUC Mathematics question paper discussion. I am Mr. Niranjan, Faculty Department of Mathematics, Vidyashram PU College, the Temple of Excellence. In my previous class, I have discussed part A and part B. Today in this session, I am going to discuss regarding part C, that is three marker question. So, in part C, you will have 11 questions. In that 11, you are going to answer 6. So, each question carries 3 marks, 6 threes are 18. So, 11 questions will be there in that you are going to answer for 6 questions, 6 out of 11. Then each question carries 3 marks, totally 18 marks from part C. Now, let us move on to the first problem. Answer any 6 questions, each question carries 3 marks. The first problem, let u is equal to 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, a set, universal set is given and a is equal to 2 comma 3, b is equal to 3, 4, 5, prove that a union b whole dash is equal to a dash intersection b dash. This is called a de Morgan's law. So, proving de Morgan's law. Now, first find out a union b. What is a union b? So, a and b union, all the elements of set a and set b. So, a contains 2, 3, b contains, already we have taken 3, 4 and 5. This is a union b. Now, just write down a union b whole dash. That is nothing but u minus a union b. That means all the elements which are in u but not in a union b. That means all the elements which are in the universal set but not in a union b. So, you, in u we have 1, it is not in a union b. 2 is there, 3, 4, 5, 6. So, here this is first. So, a union b whole dash is equal to 1 comma 6. On the other hand, let us consider this as the LHS. So, LHS. On the other hand, for RHS, find out A dash. A dash is equal to U minus A. U minus A. All the elements which are in U but not in A. So, in U we have 1, 2 and 3 is in B also. So, we can consider 4, 5 and 6. This is A dash. Similarly, B dash is equal to U minus B. All the elements which are in U but not in B. So, in uh, B we have 3, 4, 5. So, other than this is 1, 2. Again, 3, 4, 5, 3, 4, 5, 6. So, here, so B dash is equal to U minus B is 1, 2, 6. So, elements which are in U but not in A, elements which are in U but not in B. Now, just what is to take the intersection? RHS. RHS is nothing but A dash intersection B dash intersection of these two intersection is nothing but the common elements so one is common in both a dash and b dash four is not there two is not there five is also not there six is here so this is equation number two what do you say from these two so lhs is equal to rhs a union b whole dash is equal to one comma six a dash intersection b dash is also equal to one comma six so therefore we can write from one and two from one and two LHS is equal to RHS. LHS is equal to RHS means therefore A union B whole dash is equal to A dash intersection B dash that is De Morgan's law. That's it. Sometimes they may also ask A intersection B whole dash is equal to A dash union B dash. Right. So this is how we are going to solve for three marks. Hope you followed. Now move on to the second problem. So, this is very easiest and important problem from uh, set relations and functions. So, what is given? Let f of x is equal to x square and g of x is equal to 2x plus 1 be two real functions. Find f plus g of x, f minus g of x and f into g of x. Each carries 1, 1 mass, totally 3 mass. Now, let us take the first one. f plus g of x can be written as this is equal to f of x plus g of x. Now, what is f of x? f of x is x square plus g of x is equal to 2x plus 1. So, f plus x 
f plus g of x is equal to x square plus 2 x plus 1. If you want, you can write this as f plus g of x is equal to, this is of the form a square plus 2ab plus b square. You can write x plus 1 of the whole square. a square plus 2ab plus b square, 1 square is 1. Now, second part, the second one. Second one is f minus g of x. So, this can be done as f of x minus g of x. So, what is f of x? x square minus g of x is equal to 2x plus 1. So, multiply by negative sign x square minus 2x minus 1. So, therefore, f minus g of x is equal to x square minus 2x minus 1. That is it. Now, the third one, third, what is the third one? So, f of g into x. So, f of g into x, that is nothing but f of x into g of x. Multiply it f of x is x square, g of x is 2x plus 1. Now multiply 2x into x square is 2x cube plus x square into 1 is x square. So therefore, f, f into g of x is equal to 2x cube plus x square. That is it. 2x into x square is x cube, 2x cube plus x square into 1 is x square. So 2x cube plus x square is a required answer. This is how we are going to solve for 3 marks. Very simple problem. So, this is a sure question. So, you will expect this type of question for your final examination. 34th problem. Prove that cos 3x is equal to 4 cos cube x minus 3 cos x. Again, this is from trigonometry. Very important problem. You might have been studied uh, multiple angles of sin 2a, sin 3a, cos 2a, cos 3a, tan 2a and tan 3a. In this, the problem is from multiple angles. Now, let us take LHS. LHS is cos 3x. So, this cos 3x can be written as cos of 2x plus x. Now, if you observe carefully, this is of the form cos a plus b. Cos a plus b is equal to cos a cos b minus sin a sin b. Now, substitute here. What is a? a is 2x. This is a and b is equal to x. So, this can be written as cos a cos 2x cos a cos b cos x minus sin a sin 2x into sin x. Now, what is the intention? Convert all the trigonometrical function into cos. That is it. So, here cos 2x can also be written as 2 cos square x minus 1 into this cos x as it is minus for sin 2x we have 2 sin x into cos x into sin x. So, that is cos 2x is equal to 2 cos square x minus 1 and sin 2x, sin 2x is equal to 2 sin x into cos x and further one more formula we are going to use, sin square x is also equal to 1 minus cos square x. Now, just multiply 2 cos square x into cos is 2 cos cube x minus 1 into cos x is cos x minus 2 times cos x as it is, this sin into sin is sin square x. So, convert this sin square to cos, that is it, 2 cos cube x minus cos x minus 2 cos x into sin square is 1 minus cos square x. Now, multiply it, this is equal to 2 cos cube x minus cos x minus 2 cos x into 1 is 2 cos x minus into minus plus 2 cos into cos square is cos cube x. So, this can be written as 2 cos cube plus 2 cos cube is 4 cos cube x. 4 cos cube x minus minus cos x minus 2 cos x is minus 3 cos x which is the required RHS. See what is RHS? 4 cos cube x minus 3 cos x. This is the required answer. Very simple. Just split cos 3x into cos 2x plus x and use cos a plus b formula. Cos a cos b minus sin a sin b. Convert cos 2x into in terms of cos 2 cos square x minus 1 sin 2x is 2 sin x into cos x. Again, sin can be sin square can also be written as 1 minus cos square. Multiply, you will get the answer. That is it. Hope you followed. Now, move on to the next problem. This is also from again trigonometry. If cos x is equal to minus 1 by 2, x lies in the third quadrant. Find the values of the five trigonometrical functions. Now, what is given here? Given that cos x is equal to minus 1 by 2. What is cos in terms of sides? Cos theta is equal to adjacent side divided by hypotenuse side. Now, further x lies in the third quadrant. So, in third quadrant, 
in third quadrant in third quadrant this is first quadrant second quadrant third and fourth 0 to 90 90 plus 90 is 180 180 plus 90 is 270 or this is 360 so in first quadrant all are positive in second quadrant sine is positive in third quadrant tan in fourth quadrant cos so since in third quadrant third quadrant tan and cot are positive tan and cot are positive remaining are all negative now just find out what is this given cos x find out sin x sin x is equal to root of 1 minus cos square 1 by 4 that is equal to take LCM 4 1s are 4 minus 1 is 3 by 4 this is equal to root 3 by 2 sin x is equal to root 3 by 2 since so what is given x is in third quadrant so therefore sin x is equal to minus root 3 by 2 because sin is negative in third quadrant and tan tan is positive tan theta is equal to sin by cos so root 3 sin is minus root 3 by 2 divided by minus 1 by 2 2 2 gets cancelled minus root 3 by minus 1 is plus root 3 since tan is positive similarly cortex is equal to 1 by tan that is equal to 1 by root 3 so this is first second third sin tan cos already cos is given now first three now similarly what is to find the fourth one fourth one sin tan sin cos is already given tan cot secant x secant x is nothing but the reciprocal of cos x so that is 1 divided by what is cos x minus 1 by 2 this is equal to minus 2 by 1 is minus 2 and the last one that is cosecant x cosecant x is the reciprocal of sin x that is my minus root 3 by 2 1 by that is equal to minus 2 by 3 so sin x is minus root 3 by 2 tan x is root 3 cot x is 1 by root 3 secant x is equal to minus 2 cosecant x is equal to minus 2 by root 3 except tan and cot all are negative because x is in third quadrant in third quadrant tan and cot are positive remaining trigonometrical ratios are negative this is very simple problem okay so even you can solve you by drawing a triangle and using pythagoras theorem find out uh, the remaining side hypotenuse opposite and adjacent and simplify that's it now move on to the next problem this is from complex numbers very important type problem express 5 plus root 2i divided by 1 minus root 2i in the form of a plus ib now what is given the given equation is 5 plus root 2 i divided by 1 minus root 2 i now just rationalize the denominator multiply and divided by 1 plus root 2 i divided by 1 plus root 2 i simplify this 5 into 1 is 5 plus 5 into root 2 i again 2 yes root 2 into i is root 2 i plus into plus plus root 2 into root 2 is root 2 whole square i into i is i square divided by this is of the form x plus i y into x minus i y so this is 1 into 1 is 1 square minus into plus minus root 2 i whole the square since you know i square is equal to minus 1 substitute here 5 plus 5 root 2 plus 1 root 2 is 6 root 2 times i so 5 plus 1 is 6 again square square root gets cancelled i square is equal to minus 1 divided by 1 minus square square root gets cancelled 2 into i square is minus 1 so this is equal to 5 plus 6 root 2 i minus 2 into 1 is 2 divided by 1 plus 2 so therefore this can be written as this is equal to 5 minus 2 5 minus 2 is 3 plus 6 root 2 i divided by 3 so you can take 3 common factor 1 plus 2 root 2 i divided by 3 3 3 cancel that is equal to 1 plus 2 root 2 i is of the form is of the form which form a plus i b this is of the form a plus i b where a is equal to 1 b is equal to 2 root 2 that is it very simple method right just rationalize the denominator 
multiply both numerator and denominator by 1 plus root 2i divided by 1 plus root 2i multiplied 5 into 1 is 5, 5 root 2i, root 2 into 1 is root 2i, root 2 into root 2 is root 2 i whole square root 2 i root 2 i whole square or root 2 square i square in the denominator 1 into 1 is 1 square is 1 root 2 i whole square since i square is equal to minus 1 so 5 plus 1 root 2 is 6 root 2 i i square is minus 1 divided by 1 minus into minus plus so 1 plus 2 is 3 in the denominator 5 minus 2 is 5 minus 2 is 3 so 3 plus 6 root 2 divided by 3 so you can take the common factor, 3 is the common factor in the numerator, 3 is gone, 1 plus 2 root i divided by 3, 3, 3 gets cancelled, 1 plus 2 root 2 i is of the form a plus i b, that is it, hope you followed, right. Now move on to the next problem. So find all pairs of consecutive odd positive integer, both of which are smaller than 10, such that their sum is more than 11, this is also an important problem. So we have to find a pair of all consecutive odd positive integers both of which are smaller than 10 such that their sum their sum is more than 11 now very simple problem let us consider let let x and x plus 2 be the required x and x plus 2 be the required pair of consecutive pair of consecutive odd odd positive integers right now let us consider x and x plus 2 are the required consecutive two consecutive odd positive integers now what is given here both of which are smaller than 10 so that means given x plus 2 is less than 10 which implies x is less than 10 minus 2 which implies x is less than 8 okay and further what is given and what is given such that their sum is more than 11 sum of these two x plus x plus 2 is greater than 11 that is 2x plus 2 is greater than 11 that means 2x is greater than 11 minus 2 2x is greater than 11 minus 2 11 minus 2 is nothing but 9 so that is equal to x is greater than 9 by 2 okay so x is greater than 9 by 2 means that is x is greater than 9 by 2 means 4.5 4.5 so therefore the value of x lies between therefore x lies between 4.5 and 8 so 4.5 less than x less than 8 so the value of x lies between 4.5 and 8 so, what are the uh, odd positive integer between 4.5 and 8 is, therefore x is equal to, we can take 5 is the odd positive integer, 6 is not the positive odd positive integer, 7 we can take. So, in between uh, 4.5 and 8 are, there are two odd positive integers, 5 and 7, x is 5, x plus 2, 5 plus 2 is 7, right. So, therefore, the required pair, therefore, the required required pairs is equal to we can take 5 comma 7 so if you add what happens so 5 plus 7 is more than 11 sum is more than 11 7 plus 5 7 plus 5 is 12 12 is more than 11 another one if you take 7 as the first number 7 x is 7 7 plus 2 7 plus 2 7 8 9 right which is less than 10 and if you add 7 plus 9 is 16, that is greater than 11, right. So, therefore, the two possibilities are 5 comma 7 and 7 comma 9. So, therefore, the, the required number of pairs are 2, that is 1 is 5 comma 7 and uh, another one is 7 comma 9. So, if you add 5 plus 7, 5 plus 7 is uh, 12, which is greater than 11, 7 plus 9, 7 plus 9 is 16, that is also greater than 11 and also uh, the in both of which are smaller than 10, 5 and 7, 7 and 9 are less than 10, that is it. Now, move on to the next problem. The sum of first three terms of a GP, sum is given 12 by 13 and their product is minus 1, find the common ratio and the terms. So, we have to find R and the num terms, right. Now, let us consider, let the three numbers, let the three numbers, of a GP is 
a comma a by r comma a r these are the three numbers or i can write or we can also write like this r a by r a by r a then a r let the three numbers be a a by r a r r a by r comma a comma a r right now what is given given sum sum is equal to a by r plus a plus a r the sum is given by 13 by 12 now let us represent this as equation number 1 but the product is given what is the product product is equal to minus 1 that means a by r into a into a r is equal to minus 1 so r and r gets cancel a cube is equal to minus 1 so a cube is equal to this can also be written as minus 1 whole cube because minus 1 we multiply three times minus into minus into minus is minus itself so therefore a is equal to minus 1 the first term is minus 1 so find the common ratio now put a is equal to 1 a is equal to minus 1 here so if you put a is equal to minus 1 minus 1 by r again a is minus 1 plus a is minus 1 into r is minus r is equal to 13 by 12 minus 1 by r minus 1 minus r is equal to 13 by 12 take lcm here r is the lcm this right hand side is same 13 by 12 now minus 1 minus 1 into r is r minus r square now cross multiply minus 1 minus r minus r square by r is equal to 12 by 13 cross multiply this okay so if you cross multiply what happens so you will get minus 12 minus 12 r Minus 12 r square is equal to 13 r. Cross multiply. So first part is what is given the sum of three numbers a by r plus a plus r is equal to 13 by 12, and the product is a by r into a into r is equal to minus 1. R and r gets cancel. A cube is minus 1. Therefore, a is equal to minus 1. Substitute this minus 1 here. So what we will get? So this is the equation we are going to get. That is 12 minus 12 r minus 12 r square is equal to 13 r. So this can also be solved as now from this so transfer this 13r minus 12 becomes plus 12 minus 12r becomes plus 12r and minus 12r becomes plus 12r square is equal to 0 put it in order 12r square yes 12r square again 13 plus 12 is 25r and plus 12 is equal to 0 so everything becomes positive convert all the left hand side terms to the right hand side so 13r remains the same transfer minus 12 becomes plus 12 minus 12r becomes plus 12r and minus 12r square becomes plus 12r square put it in order 12r square 12 plus 13 is 25r plus 12 okay so this is a quadratic equation this can be solved by the method of cross multiplication so this can be written as 4 into r 3 into r So this is equal to three into four. Three fours are twelve. Now if you multiply four fours are sixteen r plus three three is a nine r. If you add, you will get twenty five r. So this is positive and positive. We can write four r plus three into three r plus four is equal to zero are the factors. So if you solve four r is equal to minus three, therefore r is equal to minus three by four. In this case, three r is equal to minus four. R is equal to minus four by three. So we will get two values of R. R is equal to minus three by four. R minus four by three. So therefore, now substitute here. So therefore, therefore the first term A is equal to minus one, and the common ratio R is equal to minus three by four or minus four by three. Now the three terms, the three numbers are. So when a is equal to minus one, r is equal to minus three by four. What we will get? A by r, a and a r. That's equal to a by r minus one divided by r is minus three by four, comma a minus one and a r minus one into minus three by four. So this is equal to this goes to the numerator. We'll get four by three minus one again minus. Into minus plus three by four, right? So the sum of first three terms. If I add, what you will get? If I add, 
or if you multiply the product, if you multiply this, see what happens. 3, 3 cancel, 4, 4 gets cancel, the product is minus 1. If you add the sum is going to be 13 by 12. Now, second case, case number 2. Now, if a is equal to minus 1, r is equal to minus 4 by 3. Then the three numbers are a by r, minus 1 by minus 4 by 3, comma, minus 1 and a r, a r minus 1 comma minus 4 by 3. So, the three numbers are, this goes to the numerator, 3 by 4 minus 1 and 4 by 3. So, in reverse order you will get. So, these are the three numbers, right. So, this is how we are going to solve this problem, okay. Hope you followed, very important. Now, move to the next problem. So, derive the equation of a line with x intercept as a and y intercept as b in the form x by a plus y by b is equal to 1. Very important uh, derivation, this is from straight lines. Now, what is given? Derive the equation of a line with x intercept. What is given? x intercept, x intercept is equal to a and uh, y intercept, y intercept is equal to b. So, therefore, the coordinates of the point a is equal to a comma 0 and the coordinates of the point b is equal to 0 comma b. Now, let us draw a straight line. Let a straight line cuts the x axis. This is x axis origin 0 comma 0. This is y axis x dash and y dash. Now, a straight line cuts the x axis at a. This is a. The coordinates of a is a comma 0. Therefore, this is called x intercept and this is b. The coordinates of b is 0 comma b. This is called y intercept. So, x intercept is a, y intercept is b. So, now what is to find the equation of a line which passes through the point A and B, that is it. Now, this is nothing but two point forum of a line. So, using two point forum, two point form of a line, what is the formula y minus y1 divided by x minus x1 is equal to y2 minus y1 divided by x2 minus x1. Now, this is x1 y1 this is x2 y2 y minus y1 y minus y1 y1 is 0 divided by x minus x1 x1 is equal to a is equal to, so y minus y1 by x minus x1 is equal to y2 y2 is b minus y1 y1 is 0 divided by x2 x2 is what is x2 x2 is 0 minus x1 is equal to a. So, what is this equal to? y minus 0 is y divided by x minus a is equal to b minus 0 is b divided by minus a. Cross multiply and simplify, you will get the answer. That is it, right. Let us right line passes through the point a and b. The coordinates of a is a comma 0 and coordinates of b is 0 comma b where OA is called x intercept that is equal to small a and OB is called the y intercept that is small b that is given. Now, equation of a line passing through the two points is given by y minus y1 divided by x minus x1 is equal to y2 minus y1 divided by x2 minus x1. So, what we will get y by x minus a is equal to b by minus a cross multiply. So, if you will, you will get minus a y is equal to b into x is b x minus a b. Interchange transfers minus a b to the left hand side it becomes plus a b and this is bx and minus ay becomes plus ay. So, divide by ab. If you divide by ab, term by term division, ab by ab is equal to bx divided by ab plus ay divided by ab. So, here b and b gets cancelled, a and a gets cancelled, ab, ab gets cancelled. So, what you have? 1 is equal to x by a plus y by so, therefore, the required equation is therefore x by a plus y by b is equal to 1 is the equation of a straight line in the intercept form where a is x intercept, b is y intercept. That is it. Very important. You may expect this also for uh, 3 marks in your final examination. Now, more to the next problem. Find the equation of the parabola with vertex 0 comma 0 passing through the point 2 comma minus 3 and symmetric about the y axis. Now, what is given the point given point 2 comma minus 3 lies in lies in which quadrant fourth quadrant 
this lies in the fourth quadrant okay and what is given the axis is y axis y axis so since the axis is x axis therefore equation of parabola is equation of parabola is of the form x square is equal to minus 4ay this is the equation right now since this passes through this passes through the point 2 comma minus 3 now put x is equal to 2 and y is equal to minus 3 so you'll get 2 square is equal to minus 4 into a into y is minus 3 2 square 4 is equal to minus 4 3 is a 12 a therefore a is equal to 4 by 12 that's equal to 1 by 3 a is equal to 1 by 3 right now substitute here so therefore the equation required equation equation of parabola is x square is equal to minus 4 into a is 1 over 3 into y so x square is equal to minus 4 by 3 y is the required equation or if you want you can cross multiply 3 x square my is equal to minus 4 y or 3 x square plus 4y is equal to 0 is the equation of the parabola which is symmetric about the y-axis 3x square plus 4y. Now move on to the next problem. This is from uh, 3D geometry. Show that the point 0, 7, 10, minus 1, 6, 6 and minus 4, 9, 6 are the vertices of a right angle triangle. Now let us write a right angle triangle. This is the right angle triangle A, B and c okay now what is a given a is 0 7 10 b what is b b is equal to minus 1 6 6 and c minus 4 9 and 6 now just verify whether a c square is equal to a b square plus b c square pythagoras theorem is satisfied or not if it is satisfied then it is a right angle triangle that is it now find out a b using distance formula root of x1 minus x2 whole square plus y1 minus y2 whole square plus z1 minus z2 whole square. Now this is equal to a b root of x1 minus x2 0 minus into minus 3 is plus 0 plus 1 whole square 7 minus 6 whole square plus 10 minus 6 whole square. So this is equal to root of 0 plus 1 square is 1 square plus 7 minus 6 is 1 square plus 10 minus 6 is 4 square. So this is equal to 1 plus 1 plus 16. 16 plus 1, 17 plus 1 is 18. AB is equal to root 18. So this can be written as 9 2 is 9 into 2. So therefore this is equal to 3 root 2. AB is equal to 3 root 2. Now move on to the second one. BC. BC is equal to root of b to c minus 1 minus 4 is minus into minus plus 4 whole square plus 6 minus 9 whole square plus 6 minus 6 whole square. So this is equal to 3 square plus 6 minus 3 is minus 3 square plus 0 that is equal to 9 plus 9 that is also equal to root 18 this is equal to 3 root 2. A, B, B, C. Now find out A, C. A, C is equal to root of 0 minus into minus plus 0 plus 4 whole square plus 7 minus 9 whole square plus 10 minus 6 whole square. So this is equal to 4 square plus 7 minus 2 is minus 2 square. 10 minus 6 is 4 square. That is equal to root of 4 4 is 16 plus 2 square is 4 plus 4 4 is 16. 16 plus 4 20, 20 plus 16 is 36. That is equal to 6, 36. Now, now just verify. Now, what is the Pythagoras theorem? AC square is equal to, now AC square is equal to AB square plus BC square. So what is AC square root of 36 whole square is equal to AB is root 18 whole square, BC is also root 18 whole square, 36 is equal to 18 plus 18, 
36 is equal to 36. So therefore, A comma B comma C are the vertices of a right angle triangle. This is a right triangle triangle. That's it. Because 36 is equal to 38. Pythagoras theorem is verified. This is how we are going to solve this problem. Now, move to the next problem. Find the derivative of sin x with respect to x from first principles. So, very simple. What is given? f of x is equal to sin x. Now, so just find out f of x plus h. f of x plus is equal to sin of x plus h. Now, what is the formula? The derivative f dash of x is equal to limit h tends to 0 of f of x plus h minus f of x divided by h. This is the formula, right? f dash of x is equal to limit h tends to 0 of f of x plus h minus f of x divided by h. Now, that is f dash of x is equal to limit h tends to 0 of f of x plus h is nothing but sin of x plus h minus f of x is sin x divided by h. Now, if you observe carefully, this is of the form numerator sin c minus sin d. Just what is sin c minus sin d? So, sin c minus sin d is 2 cos c plus d by 2 into sin c minus d by 2, right. So, therefore, this what is c? c is x plus h, d is equal to x. So, f dash of x is equal to limit h tends to 0, 2 cos c plus d, x plus h plus x divided by 2 into sin c minus d, x plus h minus x divided by 2, whole divided by h. So, what happens? This is equal to limit h tends to 0, 2 times cos x plus x is 2x plus h divided by 2 into minus x plus x gets cancelled, sin of h by 2 divided by this h comes here. So, for this just multiply and divided by 2. So, this 2 and 2 gets cancelled. If you apply the limit, what happens? Cos of 2x plus h is 0 divided by 2 into sin h by h because limit h tends to 0 of sin h by 2 divided by h by 2 is of the form sin theta by theta that is equal to 1. So, this is equal to cos of 2x plus 0 is 2x divided by 2 into 1 is 2x itself. So, 2 to gets cancelled cos x. So, f dash of x is equal to cos x. Therefore, f dash of x is equal to cos x. That means derivative of therefore d by dx of sin x is equal to cos x. That is it. So, the derivative of sin x is equal to cos x. This is how we are going to differentiate using first principles method. That is it. So, a definite important question for 3 mark. So, these are the problems for uh, 3 mark. So, you may expect uh, some of the questions for your final examination for 3 months. Hope you followed all the problems. So, that is all regarding today's session. Let us meet with uh, the different part, part D in the next session. Do not uh, miss the class, just watch the class. So, in part D, you are going to get uh, 5 5 marks questions. So, very important part is part D. So, we will discuss in the next class. That is all regarding today's session. Thank you. Thank you very much.